Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Kelly. Today's video tutorial is going to be all about taking it from zero to 100. You know those days, you know those days where you just look weak, you're feeling weak, but then you might catch that second win and you're like, you know what, I wanna beat this face down. So I am right there with you guys. And if you guys wanna see how I take it from zero to 100, keep on watching. Okay guys, so I am all primed and all ready. Today for my primer, I am using the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Makeup Primer. I love this stuff, this is still my favorite. And today for foundation, I'm using a oldie but goodie. It's gonna be the MAC Pro Longline NW45. Um, but before I jump into my foundation, I'm going to have to color correct. And I'm gonna do that just because this foundation is super good but it is a lighter to medium coverage, um, at least in my mind it is. It is not full coverage, it does not cover up you know, everything that you need it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of color correcting with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette in deep. And I'm just gonna go in with this middle shade here. And I'm gonna pop that on my dark areas so because this foundation is uh, it's not full coverage so I'm gonna go around my mouth really well and around here my problem areas the pigmentation at least Okay, and then now I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna buff this out a little bit. And the thing is, I'm not wanting to move my color corrector, so I don't, I try not to wipe. I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes it's a little inevitable, but I try not to wipe my color corrector because you want it to stay in the place where you put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all the way out. Okay guys, so now that my color corrector is, you know, pretty much blended out as much as I want it to be without too much moving, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start my foundation. And again, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear in NW45. And this is not, I repeat, this is not my usual color, but um, because, because it is pretty much winter, my skin is a bit lighter. So um, this is pretty much the only time that I can use that uh, foundation in that shade. So I have some. Okay, so f now that I'm all blended out with my um, foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. And today I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige. So I'm gonna go ahead and place some of this right on my higher places so I can blend that out. And a little around the mouth. And I like to make sure that I place my concealer really good in my creases because it, like I said, it is a problem area of mine and I have to conceal well there as well as set really well there or else um, it will crease it like a bitch. So I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and blend this concealer out. Spray it a little bit of my Morphe setting spray. Go in and blend these ingents. Like I said, blend is your motherfucking friend. I'm just gonna keep that right under the eye. Sometimes I like to widen it and bring my concealer out, but if you do bring your concealer out, then it will like widen your face, so just be aware of that. Um, and I mean, sometimes I do it, but tonight I'm just gonna keep it right up under the eye and make sure this is nice and blended out. Okay guys, so I'm all blended out. I blended out that LA girl, you know, to filth and yeah, your girl's looking kind of white right now, but oh well. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna 
set her and y'all know got my Sasha on hand and this is what I'm gonna use to set this bad boy place that all those areas where I placed that LA girl down the nose down the mouth yes Sasha yes girl I appreciate you I appreciate it Aww. Okay, so now that I'm nice and set, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna contour, motherfuckers. So for my contour, today I'm gonna be using the Fenty again, the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso. This is a really good, I like it. Took me a second to warm up to it. But I like it, she's good, she does what she's supposed to. She's a great color. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop her here. Ooh, see, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, you know, when you see the melanin popping up, like, it just, it makes me happy. Like, look, just look, like she's just bringing color, like back to my face, like, yes. I appreciate you, Riri. I'm just gonna say that. I fucking appreciate you, girl. You did that. I'm gonna place it all around my perimeter. Go here, down my nose, there. Same thing on the other side. Down my nose. And then I'm also gonna place her here. Yes, girlfriend, I did that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend, um, go ahead and blend this contour out. She's looking good. I am very, very appreciative. I'm just gonna book. Okay guys, so I went ahead and blended out my contour very, very well. And I went ahead and cut my contour with some more of that Sasha. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit my brows up with some Benefit Cosmetic Cabral in number five. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get these brows together, honey. Like this is pretty much my favorite brow product. I love it so, so much. Because it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't feel like a gel. It doesn't feel like a pomade. It feels like something more than that. I can't really explain it. I don't really understand it. But, um, yeah, there you have it. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and did my brows. And then for the very ending, I like to use, um, it's called Wonder Brow, this product. And this is in Jet Black. And what I like to do is just place this at the tail end of my brows. Just to give them... A, a little bit of an ombre effect, and then B, and just a little bit more presence, guys. Like, you know, for those nights, you know, those days where you want to be a little extra, you want your brows to, you know, say a little bit more than just hello. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to go ahead. I added that, and... I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in on both brows. So it gives a little bit of an ombre effect, but not too noticeable. But I just love, love, love to add this to my brows. Um, I think it, it makes them pop a little bit more. I love Wonder Brow. Okay guys, so I went ahead and primed my eyelids with my NYX eyeshadow base, and it is in white. And I went ahead and set that primer with my Sasha Buttercup. And then now for my eyes, I'm actually going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. This is so pretty. I absolutely love this palette. It's so, so pretty. Now for my second shade, I'm gonna use this bronzy looking color here and it's called reef it's super cute what i'm gonna do with reef is pop it right in my crease here 
And I'm just gonna blend this out right in my crease. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. I'm gonna pop that right in my crease. Just for a little bit of definition there. Okay, so I am going to pop this top color on the lid and it is called Seashell. And what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna spray um, some Morphe setting spray. Okay, and I am just going to pat that onto the lid. A little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and I popped this deeper color into my crease. Um, and this color is called Abyss. I wanted to, you know, just darken up my crease just a little bit. And then to highlight my brow, I went ahead and popped in this golden shade, which is called Mermaid in this palette. And basically right now I'm just blending out um, the mermaid shade underneath my brow. And I really, I love this palette, it's so pretty. It's a really, really pretty palette. So, it's gonna sit under there. And then now I am going to finally take off my Sasha Buttercup powder. And take that off. It has been sitting long enough. I love this stuff. It does so well, you know. It's never hard to come off. Okay guys, so all of that bake is off. And now for blush, I'm going to use the Sasha Cosmetics Powder Blush. And this is in Shame Cinnamon. This is definitely one of my faves. But I will say it does give a lot of kickback when you're dipping everything in, so. Pop that on my cheek. Yes. Shame cinnamon. Yes. So, um, okay, guys. So, I have popped on some lashes. My blush is diffused. And the lashes that I use today are from Broadway. These are literally from the Dollar General. And this is the lash Starlet. So, this is what I've got on my lids right now. These are super wispy, like, super duper wispy. I feel like these are probably one of the most natural lashes I have in my stash. Um, so yeah, these are very, very wispy. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm gonna use the NYX, and this is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This is what I'm gonna use, and basically I'm just gonna get a little of this because a little of this goes a long way, guys. So I'm just gonna get a little of this, and this color is Sunbeam, Sunbeam. So I'm gonna place a tiny little dot on my nose, and I'm just, a little goes a long way with this stuff because I know for sure you have to work fast with this because it is liquid and it will dry down and like you will feel like your life is ending if <laughs> like if you don't get to it fast enough um i mean she's blinding she's very very blinding and the color of this is it's kind of like a rosy you can't really see it in this light but it's kind of rosy a rosy pink um highlighter and the bottle is just a little bit too. So I'm just placing this on my nose. So I'm gonna place a little bit around my cupid's bow. I'm just try to relax my mouth because then my laugh lines will like be super apparent. I hate that shit, so. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheek. So, go ahead and tap that out. Ooh, look at her. She said, I wanna be seen tonight, bitch. Like, stop playing with me, Kel. Stop. Girl, you have me sitting in your drawer for like months and months. Like, what is this? I am here to stay and play, girl. Like, yeah, she, she's blind. Ooh, look. <laughs> she's motherfucking blinding. And I like it. So I'm gonna keep on blending this out and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay guys, so I got my highlight going and I will point out and say to you guys, if you're not um, okay with liquid highlighters, then I would pass on this one just because it dries down so fast. It dries down so fast, okay? So fast. <laughs> so if you're not okay with liquid highlighters, I would definitely pass on it and use a powder one. Now for lips tonight, for the motherfucking lips tonight, I am using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Calabasas. I love his formula, guys. There's, there's nothing I can say about that and I'll keep that there. So I am going, I mean, God. like really? <laughs> I'm gonna say it again, I love his formulas. Um, and I don't ever have to line with his liquid lips. <laughs> I'm just looking at this right now though, like, yes. So, okay, here we go, go ahead. I mean, I mean, are you kidding me? I'm just gonna add a, another coat, which I don't have to. But what would zero to 100 be? Okay, so that is done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my face up with my Morphe. Okay guys, here is the final look. Thank you so much for watching my zero to 100 tutorial. I'm loving it. This highlight, this liquid illuminator really, really, really did it. And my lips, like I'm living, living. So thank you guys so much for watching. Come back next time.